Hey there, it's Chris with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience. And in today's episode, we are tackling part two of our mini series all about mixing and matching. So today's topic is all about how to mix and match weaving patterns. Now, in the previous episode, I tackled how to mix and match weaving fibers, and that's much more common. You often hear of weavers who are using two or more fibers in a project because they want to achieve a certain texture or uh, a certain strength or uh, a silky hand or whatever it is. They're kind of mixing and matching things to achieve a very specific result for their project. However, we can take those same principles and we can apply it to mixing and matching weaving patterns as well. So one of the kind of obvious reasons why you might want to mix and match patterns is just for the design aesthetics, right? It gives you all kinds of other options for how to play with your pattern. We tend to pick one single pattern and we just run it through. The whole project is all the same, which there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. However, imagine if you incorporated a mix of two patterns together the options would just be endless. You would have all kinds of choices in front of you. One of the easiest ones I think to incorporate is plain weave, right? And I tend to think of plain weave kind of as a neutral color, if you want to compare it to like the color world, is that what it can do is by putting in a little bit of plain weave strategically in your pattern, it gives your eyes a break so that whatever other, probably more exciting pattern is happening, it looks more exciting because you've given your eyes a little space using plain weave. Let me give you a visual so you know what I'm kind of referring to. This little guy here is a combination of twill and plain weave. And if you can see closely, this is a little set of four, just a straight diagonal twill, and then I have two picks of plain weave. Twill, plain weave, twill, plain weave, back and forth and back and forth. But it's a very cool visual, right? Like this almost looks braided, I think, because you have a little space here, a little space kind of on either side kind of frames it. That's just by combining multiple patterns in your fabric. I really love that. I think it's so fun that it looks different with each color. That's just, that's just an added benefit. But design aesthetics is one of the big reasons why you should consider mixing and matching patterns. Imagine that you're working on a waffle weave and you add a couple extra rows of twill in there. Great. Those waffles are going to pop even more. There's all kinds of options. It's really limitless once you start to think, okay, how does this pattern play with this pattern and how can they help each other? Speaking of helping each other, the reason number two why you might want to mix and match weaving patterns is for actual like structural reasons. Mm. Okay, here's how this came up for me recently. So I'm doing a project and I wanted to do a twill, but I didn't want to mess with floating selvages. So I added some plain weave in between the twill repeats, which meant I could avoid the whole floating selvage thing all together. Because if you think about the properties of those two patterns, plain weave, doesn't need a floating selvage because it's over, under, over, under, no problem. Twill typically does because that weft yarn doesn't always go to the edge of the fabric. So here's a close up of the current project that I'm working on that has a little of both, little twill, little plain weave, no floating selvages. So as you consider what patterns you want to pair up together, think about the properties of those patterns and how they can help each other out to get to whatever goal you're working towards. There's all kinds of choices. Those are just a couple short little examples for you, but I want to encourage you to uh, don't limit yourself by just having one pattern for the whole entire project. Ponder, how can you bring in another one that might complement it and give you lots of design ideas as well as possibly even make your life easier or structurally just uh, helps you out. There's all kinds of ideas there, and I cannot wait to see what you do with that little challenge of combining multiple weaving patterns together. Sky's the limit, friends. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this two-part series all about mixing and matching both weaving fibers and weaving patterns, because 
I know you. You're a wildly creative weaver that can do all kinds of amazing things just by mixing and matching various elements. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. Have a great week. Happy weaving.